looks crazy, but I think it's just, it's good for your back and stuff. And it's not as cute as like the Vishal Robin Gonkin bags or something, but I feel like I'd rather have a plain basic one that I'll use forever.
played since my senior year of high school, which, or fall of my senior year of high school, which was um, like two years at this point, a little, because my season ends in like November. So it's been in November, it would have been two years, but a little less than two years since I actually like held a field hockey stick and played and stuff. So obviously my muscles are no longer in shape for that. Didn't even know it took hand muscles. Sore everywhere, so that was a good learning experience because I'm gonna try to play at Cal Poly, um, just like a club for fun. But good to know that I'm very out of shape before I go and just try and play for the first time in two years so I don't embarrass myself. Good thing that I embarrassed myself now, but they were all super. Like 
name calling but kind of in a in a silly way not in a mean way and i've always associated with the term goobas because i feel like i don't know i always feel a little bit like um weirder or whatever not weirder like i'm so quirky and weird but just i don't know i've always felt like more silly and goofy and especially in high school i feel like people started to get more serious and like oh here's the drama this is what's happening and then i don't i'm not trying to say like i'm not like other girls i don't like the drama but i felt more like i liked the vibes of being silly goofy fun rather than all serious and like the year dina said this i don't know so i just have always really associated with the word goobas because it's just like a silly goofy thing and i feel like a silly goofy person so that's why i named my channel goobas in case you guys wanted to know but i don't care if you guys call me goobas or maddie or madison or whatever i feel like goobas is easier because it's just like right in the name
we've gone there since I was really young because we used to live in Washington State and it's in Oregon so it was just like a, a road trip four hour drive or something but whoops I just have so many memories there and we are supposed to do a sp special occasion speech but it could be like a eulogy an ode kind of to someone or someplace or something and I feel like I have a lot to say about Canada and a lot to appreciate about it, so I'll probably talk about that because it has to be six to eight minutes long. And although I can talk for a long time on here, talking for a long time as a speech that's supposed to be organized and following an outline is really hard for me personally. So six to eight minutes to me sounds like a lifetime, even though I've just been talking for 21 minutes now. so stressed. I don't even know. But at least I'll have this class done with. And that wasn't. Today, at my tutoring, I tutor this, uh, she's now a seventh grade girl. I said the word bussin' and she was like, nobody says that anymore. She jokes with me that I'm like some of the really old grandma. It's an inside, not an inside. It's just a joke, a running joke that she says that I'm so old. And I'll use like current lingo because I'm 19 years old, gonna be 20 in two days, but it's not like I'm actually old, and so I use lingo, and she's like, how do you know that? I'm like, girl, I'm like, I don't know, six years older than you. <laughs> I don't know, wait, how old is she? I think she's like 12 or something. But it's funny, she's very sassy. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, thank you for staying. And, oh my gosh, do you see my little cloud? It's for my, for my, 